hi, I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just chowing down on this hot dog and going over today's science file. And today's science file says... Can I see a live action food chain? Well, that's an excellent question. You definitely want to try this. You will need lettuce, a cricket, and a pet tarantula, snake, lizard, or frog. Head to your kitchen and get yourself a piece of lettuce. Okay, take your piece of lettuce and you're going to place it inside the container with your cricket. If you have two crickets, then it's dinner for two? <laughs> now, you're gonna watch your cricket dine out. And now, we're gonna add this cricket to your pet's home. Woohoo! Now that was so cool! The tarantula was all like, Wah-pow! And the cricket was down for the count, like that. So, why do some animals eat plants and other animals, well, eat other animals? Well, don't look at me. Take a bite out of this! Whether an animal gets its energy from plants or eats another animal depends on the animal's digestive system. Certain animals are unable to digest plant parts, but those animals still have to get their energy from somewhere. Animals are much easier to digest than plants are, so they consume other animals. The whole animal-eat-animal -animal biological event began because bacteria that were able to produce energy through photosynthesis began to get poisoned by their oxygen waste product. Sometime between 2.5 billion years ago and 1.8 billion years ago, some bacteria lost their ability through evolution to produce their own food through photosynthesis and began to get their energy from the bacteria that still could. This evolutionary split is still around today, over two and a half billion years later, since the first bacteria began consuming each other. So now you know why animals eat other animals. You know, watching your pet chow down is why science is so cool. <laughs>